are making popcorn is steaming, and then it's going to pop up. It might go everywhere. It might just stand above hit that pop again, and go down. And then we're going to put it in a little pot. That or that, I can't, I don't know, I should say. And then we're going to eat it upstairs while watching the movie. It's bubbling, and it's going ready to pop. And I told Mommy not to put this on, because I wanted it to pop up, and then I'm done. So then, we'll eat it, we'll put it. Put the top on now. <laughs> Go, put the top on. Put the top on. Ah! <laughs> okay, looks like it's almost done, and it's about one cup. This is about one cup of popcorn, and it filled this whole. Pot, but it's pretty much the whole pot. And, and it's crazy. It is crazy. When it gets this many um, kernels on top, then the stuff popping underneath don't, doesn't come out of the pan anymore. And as soon as you hear it stop like that, it's done. And we got to get it into a bowl. And look at that. No kernels at all left unpopped. Can you believe that? I think I saw one. <laughs> and there. <laughs> okay, turn it off. The great thing about bulk popcorn is that it is really so much flavor, better flavor, and it pops. It doesn't end up a bunch of kernels at the bottom. And you can save it. Especially in these lock and lock containers, I feel like I'm like a Tupperware lady or something selling plastic, but it really makes a difference. If you put it in a lock and lock container, it'll be tasty tomorrow, it'll be ready to eat, it'll be crunchy, it won't get old like popcorn does. And one thing about popcorn, when you buy it in bulk, we bought it in like a 50 pound bag, um, this is the only form of popcorn that can still sprout. And so you can take this popcorn and put it in a um, in a quart jar, just like you were sprouting anything else, any other kind of bean sprout or any um, grains, and it will sprout and it'll have little ends. It won't ever soften. It won't ever get to where you can just eat it without cooking it. It's always hard as a rock, but it does send out little sprouts, and which is pretty interesting. So you can sprout it and then let it dry out a little bit and then grind it, and you've got sprouted corn flour. And that's what I've been using to make uh, corn tortillas or anything to do with corn, corn chips. So it's pretty interesting, popcorn. Just add a little oil to the pan and then add the popcorn. Swirl the oil around so it coats all over the bottom. And then... Just for fun, I like to add some cheese powder to my popcorn. Just sprinkle it over the top. And then put the top back on. Shake it up. And it's delicious. Delicious popcorn. It's produced by 3E Health Net. Your source for faith-based music, books, and products that promote health in all three dimensions, body, mind, and spirit. Visit us online 